While the locker rooms and other finishing touches of the new Trailblazer Stadium are still being worked on, Utah Tech University students are already engaged in classes and activities. Of the over 12,000 students enrolled this year, 110 are signed up to play Trailblazer football, and this has the head coach excited. Um, guys have worked tremendously hard here in fall camp. Um, we added some new faces that will add value to the guys that have been working hard. Um, so excited to put the pads on and start hitting someone else. Well, I'm excited for our fan base. The new stadium is going to be really exciting to add value and make us feel really Division I. So a lot of good things happening right now. The NCAA Division I schedule for Utah Tech promises to be challenging. During a luncheon hosted by the Trailblazers Athletics, the public was invited to hear more about how hard these football players have been working and are prepared to take on their first challenge this weekend against Sacramento State in the lineup. Three of the players were on hand to share who they are looking forward to playing and beating this year. Oh, I say all of them, but specifically all the Utah schools and then Shadron. A lot of people don't know, but like the last time we played Shadron, we lost on our homecoming back in 2019. So we needed to get a little get back from them for sure. Like, but on everything. Yeah, like Dev said, uh, all of them for sure. But you know, definitely uh, the SGU games are definitely on my mind as well. Uh, you know, we play some in-state foes, which will be awesome. We play SUU twice. We play them up there, and then they come down here and play us. We play Weber State and Brigham Young University. And so being able to play some of those in-state teams and have those rivalries is really important to me. And despite the loss of playtime during the COVID pandemic and being in a probationary status under the Western Athletic Conference, Utah Tech will be allowed to compete in the conference championship. We're playing for a championship. Our guys are excited, even though we don't get to play for the playoffs. This year I'm excited, like we get to play football and this is my last year, so I get this is my last shot to really put it all out there and create something that Utah Tech ain't never done before. First season, first winning record, we got to do all that. And the Trailblazers also have a new announcer this year who is ready and able to bring on his voice of excitement. I'm excited to be a part of what is Definitely going to be something magical and something special here at Utah Tech. What Coach Peterson and his football team are doing, uh, we're going to see great things. The weekly coaches luncheon will go over the team's overall strategy and create synergy and transparency of the goals ahead. These luncheons are a great opportunity for us to showcase some of our players and to watch some film of our opponents and of some plays that uh, went well and maybe some plays that didn't go quite that well during the game, um, some, some of those key plays, um, and uh, really get to know some of the fans as well. The athletic luncheon event is aimed at garnering more support for the games and those who play them. Uh, they give you fist bumps and they say, hi, how you doing? And, 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 and they're great individuals. And it's, it's, it's people like that that you put on the football field that makes you love a team, not just support them. You're going to love this team. Um, I know this community is fantastic and they support their high school games. My son plays at a local high school and they come out for those games. Uh, you know, if we get all those people to come out to our games, that stadium will be packed. So just come watch us and come support us and cheer, cheer loud for the Trailblazers. Just be loud, show up, you know. You could paint the number six, you know, I, I always take that. But uh, overall, just, just showing up is just showing up for everybody. You know, it's, it's always fun to see people in the stands. And the games are like boring if there's nobody there, but if it's packed and it's loud, the energy gonna be there, so. From Utah Tech, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.